In this example, we'll revisit all of the expressions from example 1, but this time we'll factor them using decomposition. In part A, we'll factor 9x squared minus 16. Before factoring, check for common factors. There are no common factors. In step 1, we'll find two numbers with a product of a times c and a sum of b. Create a table to record our work. Here's a tip for finding the two numbers. When b equals 0, the numbers we are trying to find are identical, but with different signs. Let's try minus 12 and 12. As the tip suggested, these are identical numbers with different signs. The sum is 0. These numbers work since the product is minus 144 and the sum is 0. Let's store the numbers in a sentence for retrieval later. In step 2, we'll split the middle coefficient. In a difference of squares, we can create a middle term by writing 0x. Zero is the same as minus 12 plus 12, giving us a four-term polynomial 9x squared minus 12x plus 12x minus 16. In step 3, we'll factor the first two terms, then the last two terms. We can pull out 3x from the first two terms and 4 from the last two terms. In step 4, we'll factor out the common binomial. The common binomial is 3x minus 4. When we pull it out, we get the answer 3x minus 4 times 3x plus 4. In part b, we'll factor 16 minus 9x squared. Before factoring, check for common factors. There are no common factors. In step 1, we'll find two numbers with a product of a times c and a sum of b. Create a table to record our work. Let's try minus 12 and 12. These are identical numbers with opposite signs, and they have a product of minus 144. The sum is 0. These numbers will work. Let's store the numbers in a sentence for retrieval later. In step 2, we'll split the middle coefficient. We can think of a difference of squares as having 0x as a middle term. Replace 0x with minus 12x and 12x. In step 3, we'll factor the first two terms, then the last two terms. We can factor out 4 from the first two terms and 3x from the last two terms. In step 4, 
will factor out the common binomial. Four minus three x is common to both terms, so factor it out. The answer is four minus three x times four plus three x. In part c, we'll factor 16x squared plus 24x plus 9. Before factoring, we should check for common factors. There are no common factors in this trinomial. In step 1, we'll find two numbers of the product of a times c and a sum of b. Create a table to record our work. It's useful to remember that the numbers we're looking for in a perfect square trinomial will be identical. Let's try 12 and 12. We get a sum of 24. These numbers work since they have a product of 144 and a sum of 24. Let's store the numbers in a sentence for retrieval later. In step 2, we'll split the middle coefficient. Twenty four x can be split to twelve x plus twelve x. In step three, we'll factor the first two terms, then the last two. Factor out four x from the first two terms and three from the last two. In step 4, we'll factor out the common binomial. Four x plus three is common to both terms, so it can be factored out. The answer is four x plus three squared. In part d, we'll factor 1 minus 16x plus 64x squared. Before factoring, we should check for common factors. There are no common factors in this trinomial. In step 1, we'll find two numbers of the product of a times c and a sum of b. Create a table to record our work. Let's try minus 8 and minus 8. These are identical numbers with a product of 64. Minus 8 and minus 8 have a sum of minus 16. The numbers work. Let's store the numbers in a sentence for retrieval later. In step 2, we'll split the middle coefficient. Sixteen x is the same as minus eight x minus eight x. In step 3, we'll factor the first two terms, then factor the last two terms. We can factor out 1 from the first two terms and minus 8x from the last two terms. In step 4, we'll factor out the common binomial.
pull out 1 minus 8x from both terms. The answer is 1 minus 8x squared.